Hello and welcome back, YouTubers. I'm Proto Mario, and today we're reviewing the Black Bass Lure Fishing for the original Game Boy. First, let me state a few things. Back in the day, in the 80s and the 90s, fishing games generally weren't that good. Sure, there were a couple that were alright, like Sega Bass Fishing, and you know, that's fine. But generally speaking, if you got a fishing game as a present, you really hated the person who gave it to you. So, bass fishing. Well, what's there to be said? The music is pretty much the same as Winter Games on the NES, and we all know how much the angry video game nerd raged about it. So, after a while, I literally had no idea what was going on. Like, right now, I literally don't know what's going on. And I'm not reviewing this right now. This is a post-review, but I, I remember I had no clue as to what's going on. Like, right here is what really, really confused me. So, I couldn't figure out if I was, like, on the sea floor or, like if those were waves or what because you know this fish pops up here and I literally have no idea and, and it kind of looks like the fish from Zelda at the bottom left there um so yeah uh if anyone has any advice as to what's actually happening on the screen I, I would very much appreciate it I know I was able to reel them in, there's no questioning that, but, um, it was just really odd, you know? So, the music is absolutely garbage. I mean, just listen to it. Why? Why would you put music like this in a game? Like, it's so generic. Where did you get your licenses at? Did you even have them to begin with? Oh, good lord. Look, I'm not going to put you through too much more here. But the fact that this was made for the original Game Boy didn't help with the color scheme. And because I'm playing this on a Game Boy Advance, you can kind of see with a little bit of help that the colors are not at all even remotely good looking. I mean, everything looks green. I have no idea what is going on. I don't know where my lure is. I don't know where my bait is. The controls are pretty bad. Um, overall, my impression of this game is a complete F and a waste of time. Now, I may feel differently if I was reviewing it in, you know, 1990s when it came out. Uh, but, honest to God, I really have no clue what's going on here on a big screen where I can see a lot more. So, I don't know if my opinion would have been different uh, being constricted to a very small LCD screen on the Game Boy. So, yeah, if anyone has a con contrasting opinion here, um, just take a listen to the music and write your comment in the section below. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy gaming.